like I was saying, this quilt can move in here. Now it's, it's important to straighten that up. On end, edge, end of set mode, this is going to always sew straight across. There's no way to adjust the angle of that. So we want to be sure, and this is our reference point in both the vertical and horizontal. And we have to make sure when we roll this, that this rolls up straight. And there's many methods to make sure that happens. One of the methods, I could have turned on the channel lock just as it finished here and roll that and then with the channel lock on, come up and make sure this is in the same direction this way. Because I'm going to demonstrate something to you. When I roll this back for end of set, instead of putting it right over that last stitch, I'm going to exaggerate and move this to the left and do, all right, I need to stop, say okay on that, and come up here and say continue. Have you rolled your quilt, position a needle? Well, no, but we'll say yes. Now, if you look at the screen, look what happened to my pattern. It's off of the quilt on the left because, now I exaggerated, of course, but I wanted to demonstrate that. Now, I can do this many times. I'm going to move this time to the right and do another continue. Have you rolled a quilt? Yes. Now, do you notice it went off to that side? What I'm saying is that that last stitch is very important that we have that in the correct place before we do continue. And if you notice, you can do continue as many times as you want because that's really what's neat about this edge to edge in, the, in this mode because uh, I can play with that and get it right and keep going back and adjusting it. That end of set continue is real close to relocate all to one point. In this case, I can't change the point because I'm always going to use that point, but you can do it many times. All right, so this time, uh, I, when I rolled the quilt, I didn't roll the quilt as far as I wanted to. Now, that's one method. And here's another method to make sure that quilt hasn't shrunk in, is before you take the clamps off on the first row, we would want to go to an, another quilt group. I'm going to call that left. And I'm going to create another quilt group called right. All right, with the right, now the point to point, I'm going to go and make sure that I'm on point to point line, and I am and going to do a point-to-point -point line on this side, and that's going to stay there for the whole quilt, okay? I did, I need to turn on my channel lock. I didn't have that on, okay? Hey, that's important. Okay, let me stop here, turn off my channel lock, and go to the left quilt group. I need to get out of here before I can do that. And put another point-to-point -point line. Now, in the computer, this point-to-point -point line is going to be lined up to the table when you can use it as many times as you want to. So let's go back and do continue. 
I didn't aim to do continue. I'm going to do point to point. Hit the wrong one. That's okay. I can make mistakes. Okay, and now we're through with that point to point. And I'm going to get out of that mode. Go back to my edge to edge mode. And if you know if I messed up my pattern on there, so all I need to do is go back over here. And to make sure, after I've rolled this, that we're straight, let's go back and do a, go back over here to my right. Do turn off my needle and do so. Now that's going to go over there and come along that quilt. And we want to make sure that quilt's in the same place it was before we rolled it. I'm going to speed that up and I can stop it. And here's something that really is happening when you roll this up usually it moves up here at the top. So I want to pull that back. And I like to put my third clamp on here. And I put some Velcros right here so I could pull this back. That's usually where, it, where it's going in. Now if you don't bring that back to the same place, the, if your pattern is interlocked, the pattern may not look right because it won't fit, but if you pull everything back like it was originally, then it will fit. So, like I say, I like to put three clamps. Now this one won't be back, so now we can start that back up and, and adjust these. Of course, this one here is not going to shrink. Once I've adjusted that side, We'll stop, we'll go back over to the left side, pick that quilt group and just hit quilt. And the machine's going to go back where it originally was and start coming forward. Now I can pause it, put this clamp on, and if it did shrink, I could just pull this back out right there. And that usually that's what I need. So let's. Let's go ahead and do quick pause. There we go. And line this up all the way all the way down. <laughs> 